Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand selection sort algorithm. The working mechanism of selection sort has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here because without understanding how the selection sort works, you may not be able to understand how uh, what, what we're going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So let's start to uh, try to understand this selection sort algorithm by using this example so now with the first step of this algorithm which is the uh, y i is going to trade from uh, 0 to n minus 2 in the sense uh, here we are having five elements n minus 2 means we are going to start here and this iteration is done till here n minus 2 means 3 so four elements we are going to uh, uh, we are going to iterate uh, uh, from here to here and last element we are not going to uh, arrange because it is uh, by the end of this algorithm the highest element is going to be in its position so as we have discussed in our previous video and here we are having one more so here the variables to be considered is one of the variable is i and the next one is min min has to be considered here the min is taken as the index of the index of the i so the value of i is taken as an uh, uh, minimum so because it is the index of the elements position so this is the position where the minimum among those elements the remaining elements will be swapped to so the i is representing the position to which the minimum among the remaining elements has to be swapped okay so we have discussed clearly about this in our previous video and next j we are going to start from i plus 1 wherever the i is from the next element of i so from there to till end we are going to compare okay for example if the value of i is 0 means i plus 1 means from 1 to n and if the value of uh, i is 1 means from 2 to end so that is how this for loop is going to iterate and every time we every time we come into this for loop the, this is the comparison that we are doing a of j means the element in this uh, a of j a of j is less than a of min or not okay so this is how the comparison is done and we have seen that also and if anyone is found means min is equal to j that is the index of the minimum element so the j is the uh, index which is then considered as the minimum element okay and after that we are going to swap so hope you know how to swap the elements by using temporary variable so this function is called means there uh, the three lines of code will be there where the things will get swapped so this we have discussed in our C programming uh, concepts and the next algorithm the sorry the next uh, uh, variable to be considered is uh, j okay now start our algorithm we are going to start from zero the value of i is equal to zero so this is the position uh, we have taken now min is equal to i min is equal to i means uh, uh, zero is the index that we are taking index min means it is not five we are taking only index so at the end we are we are swapping a of min with a of i a of i means here it is 0 so to this position a of min will be swapped min is going to have the index of minimum element okay so now for j is equal to i plus 1 so i plus 1 means it is 1 it is going to start from here and it is going to iterate a of j a of j means a of 1 so 9 less than a of min a of min means it is 5 so is it true a, is it true 9 less than 5 no it is not true next next iteration the value of i is j is equal to 2 now uh, a of a of j means it is a of 2 it is 4 less than 5 is it true yes it is true if this is true min is equal to j now the value of uh, j is 2 so the min is equal to 2 means the minimum element is in this location is at this index it is not the value of minimum element it is the index where the minimum element is existing okay next iteration the value of j is equal to 3 now now 3 means 1 uh, less than 5 is it true yes it is true so the min element is the index of the min element is 3 okay the index of min element is 3 
and in the next iteration the value of j is equal to 4 when the value of j is equal to 4 means a of j so a of j is 6 less than a of min a of min means min means it is 3 means this one so is it true no it is not true so here uh, here we have to give 4 by mistake i have given it as 5 so 6 less than 1 is it true no it is not true so the min index is 3 now we are going to come out of this for loop uh, uh, for loop and we are going to swap a of min and a of i so a of min and a of 5 a of min means 3 a of min and a of i i means 0 so a of 0 means it is 5 so 5 and 1 will get swapped in the first iteration of outer for loop 5 and 1 will get swapped okay so let's swap those elements also okay so uh, by this you should get the idea okay we will see one more iteration now the value of i is equal to 1 now the value of i is equal to 1 again the min is equal to i min is equal to i means so we will start fresh for this min is equal to i means 1 okay now j is equal to i plus 1 so j is equal to i plus 1 means 1 plus 1 which is 2 so from here to here we are going to iterate so this for loop is going to iterate from 2 to 4 okay so now a of j a of j means 4 less than 9 so is it true yes it is true so the min is equal to 2 min is equal to 2 next uh, uh, next is uh, 5 less than 4 is it true no it is not true it is not true because uh, 5 is greater than 4 next 6 greater uh, sorry 6 less than 4 is it true no it is not true so minimum among this is 4 so these two elements will get swapped so if you swap those two elements 9 and 4 will get swapped 4 will come here and 9 will moved there now this is how so this is the second iteration now the third iteration so this one is going to be 2 and the min is uh, min is considered as 2 min is considered the min index of min is considered as 2 and the j is equal to start from the, the j is going to start from 3 and from 3 uh, so it is uh, 1 j is equal to 2 and uh, from 3 to 4 this is going to do the comparisons so here 5 and 9 will get swapped in this iteration and uh, uh, let's try to swap them so we are not going to follow the algorithm so we will directly swap the elements by our intuition so it's very simple by this time you should get the idea these two things will get swapped in the next iteration in the last iteration this is where we are going to stop our uh, outer for loop so here n minus 2 means 5 minus 2 which is 3 so from 0 to 3 this is this iteration is done so till this point the iterations are done now these two will get compared so now uh, the minimum among these uh, the remaining elements is 6 so the 6 will get swapped and the 9 will get swapped by the end of this uh, uh, entire algorithm 6 and 9 will get swapped okay so let's try to swap them also 6 will get swapped and 9 will get swapped okay so this is how the elements now arranged into sorted order okay by selection sort this is how the uh, sorting is done and the efficiency of this algorithm the efficiency of this algorithm for best case worst case and average case is going to be big o of n square it is theta of n square actually because because uh, every time it is going to do all the comparisons all the comparisons is done for any kind of input and the clear analysis of this algorithm why it is going to be theta of n square for best case worst case and average case we will discuss that so that discussion will be made in our data uh, design and analysis of algorithms course this uh, discussion analysis of all algorithms is out of the scope of this course just for understanding just for remembrance what what is the efficiency of this algorithm means it is theta 
theta of n square the efficiency of this algorithm is theta of n square and it is the same for best case worst case and average case also okay so this is all about selection sort algorithm hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching